Welcome back to the Royal Children's Hospital. Here we are in the medical imaging department and over here we do lots of investigations ranging from x-ray to ultrasound, CT to MRI. That stands for magnetic resonance imaging. And with over 7,000 requests for MRIs in this hospital every single year, you can imagine how important this scan is to our patients and families. Now, for anyone who has had an MRI before, it can be a very, very daunting procedure. Our children are required to lie very, very still for prolonged periods of time, often inside a very dimly lit tunnel, and there is continual loud noise happening the entire time. Sometimes they even need a drip inserted prior to the procedure for contrast before or during the scan. Now, what we have here at the Royal Children's Hospital is a mock MRI program that encourages our kids to be used to the scan, to understand why the scan is happening, and it means that we have a much, much lower rate of general anaesthetic. That is when the children are too nervous or too claustrophobic to cope with the scan and need to be put to sleep and paralysed for the duration of the procedure. It's much, much safer for our patients if we can avoid a general anaesthetic. What we're seeing here is the mock MRI program in action. Lydia is one of our educational play therapists and she works with Ernie, our doll, who's probably had a million scans. He's had a few, he's pretty good. <laughs> this is Taylor, one of our patients who needs to have an MRI scan. And as you can see with our wooden scanner, we turn the process into a game. We make it fun for our patients. So Lydia, what can you tell us about the mock MRI program? So the mock MRI program was really developed to reduce the number of children having a general anaesthetic at the hospital and um, research shows that preparing children for their procedures helps to alleviate some of that anxiety around what might happen, clear up some misconceptions and help them to develop some coping strategies for what happens in the hospital. And what are some of those common misconceptions that children have with MRI scans? I think a lot of uh, children feel like something is going to hurt them or touch them or come near them whilst they're in the machine. Uh, there's a lot of loud noises so helping to hear those before they go in really helps. Um, and just um, to help them build those skills of staying still and letting them know that their parents will be close by all the time. All right, Taylor, should we go through to the scanner? You ready? Yeah. What we have here is a mock scanner. It's life-size, it makes all of the normal noises and movements of the real scanner, but it doesn't take pictures. It enables us to practice as many times as that child needs to avoid any anxiety, any claustrophobia at all. We'll see Taylor moving up on the bed and soon we'll see her moving into the tunnel. She'll get to choose a movie that she can watch, anything at all. And one of the newest advances that we've had here in the medical imaging department is an application that these kids can use at home or on the ward prior to the scan. It's called the Oki app. Now, Lydia, what can you tell us about this new smartphone application? Uh, so the new app that we've developed is, I guess, based on the, the idea that preparation helps support children in the hospital, um, but also it helps to bridge the gap between home and the hospital and it allows parents to start preparing their children at home. And we also feel that if parents are prepared, they're, they're better able to support their children. Now the mock MRI program had 400 patients come through it last year and of those 350 successfully passed their mock scan. Only 13 of them went on to require a general anaesthetic. The numbers speak for themselves and if you were ever wondering where your donations go on the Good Friday Appeal, there is no better example than the mock MRI program.